the ground. It's the last week of July. We are doing something that I've wanted to do for a very long time, and it's a very rare opportunity. It's a velvet bull elk hunt. These bulls are an entire summer patterns, and they're just living and doing things a little different than any other hunt I've ever been on. So we're gonna be playing the game that we, that we do well, right? We're gonna be staying back, hitting the glass and turning up the bulls. This is the kind of hunt where a guy could see, you know, several bulls and we're looking for something between say the 350 to 400 class. It should be a seriously exciting hunt, chasing some really big bulls. So I'm super excited. We'll see you guys on the mountain. Extreme Outer Limits is presented by Night Force Optics. Precision optics for precision shooting. This time of year, these bulls are going to be in about maybe half of that country. Okay. Um, they're spread out more than you think they are. They're, they're even down here in the low country and then they're all the way up. These peaks right here, Iva Paw and Haystack are close to 12,000. Hmm. And it's pretty well like rocket science. They're in their places, you know, they're just in their places. Very rarely do we uh, detour off of sort of what the norm is. We always seem to find the bulls in the bull places. So um, that's where you guys are going. Here we are late July, July 24th. We're starting this hunt off and uh, we're looking over an immense amount of ground here. We've probably put eyes on, I don't know, I don't wanna exaggerate, but let's say two dozen maybe this evening. And then over here on another mountain, there's several, I don't know, a couple hundred head of cows. So definitely a lot of elk in the area. It's thick and brushy and then it kind of opens up on park side, you know, like park like hillsides and things like that. So just epic elk ground, lots of bulls, really good bull to cow ratio. It's been a great evening. Just getting our feet wet, kind of training the eyes. Summertime, you're not really thinking about hunting. So getting back in the groove, but excited to see what the rest of the hunt will bring us. You're not gonna believe this, but he is chewing on a rib bone. No way. He is. <laughs> He sure as hell is. I can't believe that. He sure is. I, I totally see it. Look at that, right there. What's up with every bigger bull chewing on bones up here? <laughs> look at that look right there. That bull's big. Well, here we are spotting something giant that we can't go after right now, but we'll game plan. I think that's a shooter bull, it's big. Bull's got better than 55 inch beams, it's a seven by seven. Great first evening and it sounds like we gotta hunt guys. We'll pick up our toys, go back and review the footage a little bit and have a sleepless night and see what the morning brings us. Right, guys, it's been the uh, following morning from Jeff getting us on this bull last night. What we got is we definitely got a major beam type bull, you know, like a 55 inch beam. He's a seven by both sides. He just kind of looks like a picket fence, strong fronts, real strong, pretty much everything till he gets right to the back. I think the sevens are a little shorter, but they're just extra points at that point. Bonus. Yeah, they're just bonus points. Um, you could definitely tell when that bull come out, he is significantly different in his body, his frame. It's definitely the, the right bull. We just gotta make it happen. And the evenings are better this time of year. If they play our game, who knows, we might be putting our hands on him in this evening, so. Stud bull though. ridge that goes right here 
you can see to the hill where the bulls are, but it's really thick off of it. It's kind of sage on one side, treed on the other. And we're gonna go until we find a good, you know, kind of like crossway between the timber where we can see, and then if we can get it flat enough, we're gonna just get set up, stay still, and just wait all evening. If this gives us fits or he doesn't show, it's no big deal. We got plenty more days. We know where the bull is. Our bull appears to be a no-show. We spotted bulls pretty much on every single hill, including right behind us, except our bulls in the biggest drainage here. So it's kind of an interesting evening. We'll be right back here in the morning, but he definitely gave us a slip tonight, no-showed us, so next time you see us, it'll be tomorrow morning. See you then. This segment is brought to you by the Night Force NX8 4 to 32 by 50 rifle scope, featuring a high speed zero stop turret, a 30 millimeter tube allowing for 90 minutes of adjustment, and ED glass, producing superior image quality at high magnification. The new Zeiss Victory RF laser range finding binocular provides you accurate ranges and ballistic corrections from 11 to 2,500 yards. A fully customizable ballistics platform, Bluetooth connectivity, and a phenomenal binocular all in a compact and lightweight unit. The new Zeiss Victory RF is EOL's range finder of choice. Hey guys, it's getting to be late afternoon, day two, of looking for this bull. And we had some eyes from Travis way up high on this ridge and he was able to locate the bull over after. Apparently he's up in a big rock chute. We were never gonna see him from here today. So he got word down to us that he's got eyes on him. So he's perched up watching him. We're gonna pack up, we're gonna get up this hill, try to get over to Travis and see if we can't make a shot. He said the bull's somewhere in the 700 yard range right now. So hopefully he stays put for us. We made our way probably breaking into the 10K mark. We are way up here. The air is thin. There's an old mining road to get us up. We're gonna walk about 400 yards up this mining road, change the angle. We should be able to look down the draw and that's where the bull is. We're hearing that he's like one of six or one of seven bulls. It sounds like it's gonna be a really steep angle, so should be interesting. This will be one of the most unorthodox shots we've ever made on the show. The bull is uh, 815 yards. Well, let me rephrase, a bull. One of the bulls, not our bull. Crazy angle, and we're on a extremely steep hill. We've dug in a shelf here, and I'm just gonna have to do the best I can. We're gonna make this work one way or the other if he comes out, but this is not an easy setup right here. didn't happen <laughs> he came out giant seven by seven 380 plus bull I was just about ready to bear down and I wanted to readjust the back end of the rifle and he just turned went right back up behind the trees he's never ever once come back out since that was probably an hour ago we're losing light now so all I can say is you guys know where we'll be in the morning and that's about it, a little discouraged. I thought we were gonna get it done right there, but no dice. See you guys in the morning. dark we had a very disheartening evening um, the bull that we've been sitting on for two days is now out of the huntable area we were able to turn him up and he just went marching and 
right in that area within, you know, 100, 150 yards. It just crossed his boundary. So not taking any chances. He just basically walked right out of our lives. So the only good news to all of this is we have two full days of hunting left, but we are at ground zero. And we really don't have any idea what we're gonna do yet. So probably gonna go back to camp, have dinner. My chin will be dragging for a while. We'll re-game plan and just start over. Find another nice bull, but wow. So it's next time, who knows, the hunt's not over. Maybe, maybe something else will come along. We'll figure it out, so hang in there. This segment is brought to you by The Extreme Store. Now offering optics, bullets, and accessories for all your hunting needs. For more information, visit theextremestore.us. Extreme Outer Limits is also brought to you by Trigger Tech Triggers. With the most advanced technology in the industry, Trigger Tech Triggers offer the most precise, consistent, and dependable triggers for your rifle. On the range or in the mountains. This segment of Extreme Outer Limits is brought to you by the all-new Extreme Heavy Hybrid line of Burger Bullets. Rated best in class, ballistic coefficient, delivers the greatest amount of kinetic energy per caliber, will extend the effective range of your rifle. Go to the Extreme store to get yours today. Come here, just look in this for a second. That's the bull we're looking for right there. Ah, I want that bull. I don't care if he's 50 inch beam bull, he's, his mass and his thirds are giant. That bull has got stupid mass and beautiful velvet. He is by far all around most attractive to me. Look at those guns. Yeah, no, I'm on it, that's, that's my bull. Let's, let's watch him bad and we'll kill him this afternoon. Yep, I wanna kill that bull. Good morning, guys. It's day five of our velvet bull hunt. And uh, as far as bull numbers go, I had a hell of a morning. I don't know that I've ever seen this many bulls in one sit my entire life, or maybe even multiple sits for that matter. As a matter of fact, just keep the camera rolling. There's like another group of bulls passing right there. Anyway, guys, there's bulls everywhere. I mean, literally everywhere. I don't know. I've seen 60, 70 bulls this morning. And uh, we're just having a hard time cresting out of that 350 and under class. I know that sounds ridiculous to say, because that's a giant bull, but this is such a unique opportunity and we know there is better. We got to hold kind of my MO, taking everything right to the very end. So seven day hunt, we got two more days. Hopefully we'll find another target bull. So stay with us. This ride's been. <laughs> well, guys, we're back in a familiar spot you'll probably recognize. We were hunting, just getting started out in the afternoon, evening hunt, and we decided to split back up, and Travis decided to come and cover the country that we had originally seen the target bull, the seven by seven. Go figure, we should have came here ourselves because he was there. He watched him for a bit while we were trying to get here, get hiked in, and the bull moved into the tree line and he thinks laid down. So 
we are right back in the same spot. It's like deja vu all over. I'm just hoping that in the next hour and a half, we have a light that bull actually comes out and presents a shot because we are down to the last day and a half of the hunt here. See how it goes. This segment is brought to you by The Extreme Store, now offering an exclusive McMillan Game Hunter Universal Inlet Stock, capable of accepting all Remington clone actions in a wide variety of barrel contours. For more information, visit www.extremestore.us. Extreme Hunter Limits is also brought to you by The Extreme Shooting School, an information-packed two-day class. For more information, go to extremehunterlimitstv.com. This segment is brought to you by MOA Rifles, now offering their extreme series actions. Built with long-range performance in mind, MOA actions are constructed to handle the most advanced bullet and cartridge combinations on the market. For information, visit MOARifles.com. Uh, good morning, it's our last day. It's been a slow morning. Spotted a group of five bulls way up in the rim rock up there. This aspen patch down here. It's kind of been the hub of this entire hunt, right? We've hunted it from the bottom, seen bulls coming in. We've hunted above it. We've been watching this bull above it. And one of the guys caught a glimpse of a bull that was with the seven by last night go into that patch. So we don't know if the seven by is with it. We're just purely rolling the dice. So mission impossible. We're gonna drop, I don't know, 800 feet here. We're gonna get into the floor of that entire basin. Let's come along, we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, well, here's what we ended up doing. The wind is so good downhill. We went ahead and snuck up to about 200 yards below where we've spotted the bulls in that particular bull two times. We're gonna sit here all day. If for some reason he doesn't come out, we'll go ahead and work down the canyon and still on our way out right at dark. So it's gonna be a long day. Hopefully we can kind of stay shaded up. But if that bull comes out, it's the kind of bull that's worth it. So. Just do what it takes, we'll see how it goes. Well guys, we sat 12 hours on the ground. Zero elk. Oh, I love it. Always in a freaking pressure cooker, it seems like. But we're gonna sneak through this and see what happens. Okay, please. Get close. Cross enough. your fingers. Here we are, the last morning of the hunt. And uh, it's been a hell of a ride. We have hunted the same big bull a lot of days and uh, it just didn't work out. So this is kind of the Hail Mary. About 1,100 yards, there's an elk on that hill. Jeff's gonna get spotter set up, see what we can turn up. Hopefully we can find a good last day bull, so stay with us. Kill the middle bull. That is a giant bull, guys. I don't know. He's he's pretty, but he's just. What would Travis prefer me to do? Rut. All right, then that's the answer. Well, guys, we're wrapping the episode, and as I stand here, I am looking at the very basin that ate up our egos, <laughs> all of our confidence. But man, it was fun. This week's episode, we're concluding with the most bulls we've ever put on a TV show. They were in velvet, an extremely unique hunt, but I don't know what it was. That particular target bull, that big seven by, was just a scab that I wanted to pick and I wanted that bull dead so bad that we essentially ran it to dark last night, which would have been uh, the evening uh, before the hunt in. 
This morning, we took a little tour. We don't have much time, but they were gracious enough to give us another couple hours. And we found a nice bull. And uh, it's a really nice six by, you know, 330, 340 kind of look bull, but he was young. He's kind of what we'd call a, a, a mini giant. And so I just did not feel that I was gonna trip the trigger, right? This is my last season. I'm going off with a bang. Uh, and I just don't feel right killing stuff I don't wanna kill. So I let that bull walk. Now, there is some saving grace to all this. I have been invited back for the rut. It's gonna be somewhere between late September and the first week of October. So next week's episode, be sure to tune in because we're gonna be right back here and we're gonna be chasing a lot of these same bulls when they're just rutting their brains out and hopefully we will actually tangle up with some of the bigger bulls we've seen and maybe even our target bull. So stay with us guys, we'll see you next week. Extreme Utter Limits brought to you by McMillan Stocks, Rugged Ridge Outdoor Gear, Night Force Optics, Grip and Pull, the best bullet puller in the world, MOA Rifles, Star Valley Outfitters, and Broken Top Outfitters. And also brought to you by...